The Okhotsk Sea, located in the east of Russia, is notorious for its extreme cold temperatures, ranging between negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit and negative 44 degrees Fahrenheit, along with the presence of towering waves up to 32 feet high and ice ranging up to 2 meters in thickness. Even just staying alive here is hard. However, would you believe that an oil and gas drilling platform stands tall in this hostile sea, extracting a bounty that few dared attempt? It is the colossal Burkitt's oil platform, which is the largest in the world, weighing over 200,000 tons and situated 35 meters deep from the sea floor. To put it into perspective, picture a building that is 25% heavier than the enormous and ominous Colosseum in Rome. Just keep in mind that the largest offshore platform in the world is actually a gravity-based structure that rests entirely on the seabed. Just think of the sheer amount of physical force it requires. But how did the engineers complete this challenging project in the harsh Arctic climate conditions in the northern Sakhalin region? And what is the science behind its drilling processes? Burkitt, translating to Golden Eagle from Russian, truly lives up to its name, regal, powerful, and commanding respect. Burkitt's resilience matches its size and volume. It stands firm against the seismic forces in one of the world's most active earthquake zones. As a result of its novel use of friction pendulum-bearing isolators, it is like a tree that stands strong through a storm, bending but never breaking. Because of this, Burkitt enjoys less competition and access to significant untapped resources. However, the Okhotsk Sea's harshness made building the Burkitt platform difficult. It took cutting-edge engineering and materials to build a platform that could endure such extreme conditions. The engineers had to come up with a structure that could not only stand up to harsh weather, but also work well with difficult technical problems. This meant designing the heaviest topsides, 42,000 tons, ever made for an oil rig keeping it stable and making sure it worked well. A strict requirement also said that they had to set up a zero discharge system to keep the platform's impact on the environment to a minimum. Moving supplies, machinery, and people across the Okhotsk Sea was no picnic due to the sea's isolation. It was essential to plan ahead, ensuring timely delivery of resources while accounting for harsh weather conditions which could potentially disrupt the construction process. The platform is subjected to subarctic conditions, meaning it had to be constructed to withstand the most extreme surroundings. It can withstand seismic shocks, waves up to 16 meters tall, and sea ice as thick as 2 meters. It has its own autonomous power supply and can keep working at temperatures as low as minus 44 degrees Celsius. During the month of June 2014, the platform was put into operation and the initial oil production began in January of 2015. Over the course of a year, it is able to produce 32.5 million barrels of oil. As an oil platform, Burkitt is fundamentally similar to others, but with several interesting twists. Integrating ideas from physics, geology, chemistry, and engineering, the science behind all of these operations is incredibly complicated. One of its notable features is the oil rig's heaviest topsides ever installed, and at 42,000 tons, it is the heaviest industrial structure ever built, pushing the limits of what engineers can do. The topside alone is 105 meters long, 60 meters wide, and 144 meters high, about as tall as a 50-story building. It weighs over 42,780 metric tons. Its technical brilliance makes Burkitt a big asset in the race to get oil from the Arctic. The creator, Sakhalin Energy, has included a unique ice-resistant material so that it can both withstand and break the ice. This prevents ice from accumulating under the platform, which would otherwise have an impact on the operations. 
The heart of the operation is the drilling process. According to the platform's development simulation model, the Burkitt drilling platform provides for well drilling with a horizontal displacement of not less than 7 kilometers and technically up to 14,000 meters. That's the equivalent of a machine drilling a hole from one end of a large city to the other in icy waters. However, before the actual drilling begins, detailed geological surveys of the seabed determine the best location for the borehole. Once the drilling starts, steel pipes, called drill strings, bore into the Earth's crust, equipped with a drill bit that grinds away the rock. As the drill penetrates deeper into the Earth's crust, it can get incredibly hot. To cool the drill bit, prevent overheating, and carry away the rock debris, a substance called drill mud is pumped down the drill pipe. This drilling mud is a carefully concocted blend of clay, water, and chemicals. The extracted crude oil doesn't just flow into the pipe on its own. Here's where the physics kick in. The natural pressure of the oil reserve usually helps push the oil upward. However, as the reservoir depletes, this natural pressure wanes and must be aided with the help of water or gas, which is injected into the well, displacing the oil and maintaining the pressure. This billion-dollar offshore oil rig is equipped with hydraulic valves, compressors, and reverse osmosis filters for desalination, with minimal human intervention needed for operation. Hydraulic valves and compressors equalize pressure inside the cavity, while desalination of seawater is done using reverse osmosis filters on the offshore oil rig platform. Going a step further in its complexity, the Burkitt platform was constructed with friction pendulum bearing isolators to make it more seismically stable. This extra feature helps protect the platform from geological activities and ensures a steady operation even during an earthquake. In addition, it is densely packed with a variety of machines and facilities such as a drilling complex, production complex, oil refinery, residential blocks, helipad, power plant, and chemical production facility, and it requires very little attention from humans in order to function properly. This one-of-its-own-kind platform even has a bustling dining room and its own on-site power plant with four powerful turbines running on gas, generating enough electricity to power half a city. The living quarters of Burkitt are insulated with wool. This natural material has been extensively used due to its fire-resistant properties and ability to provide excellent insulation against harsh temperatures. Burkitt symbolizes Russia's energy ambition geopolitically. This platform helps Russia produce its own oil, lowering its dependence on imports and improving energy security. According to Burkitt's production records, it can make up to 12 tons of oil every day. Imagine four-story tall stacks of oil barrels covering an entire football field. Now picture 70 football fields like that. That's approximately how much oil Burkitt can yield in a year, sitting at 32.5 million barrels. Now, you would agree, that is a staggering volume. Let's draw a comparison to understanding its true potential. The Hibernia platform in Canada also holds significant stature, producing around 220,000 barrels of oil per day. The Burkitt platform surpasses it, with its colossal production capacity of approximately 4.5 million tons of oil per year. This massive capacity allows Burkitt to contribute significantly more to Russia's economy than Hibernia to Canada's. On the other side of the world, the Petronius platform in the Gulf of Mexico, which is one of the largest freestanding structures globally, stands as another competitor. Even though Petronius boasts an impressive structural height and considerable oil output, it is not as hospitable to harsh weather conditions as Burkitt, which has been built to withstand severe Arctic weather. In comparison to the Perdido platform, currently the world's deepest oil platform operating in a depth of about 8,000 feet in the Gulf of Mexico, Burkitt shows its engineering prowess. Although Perdido operates at a greater depth, Burkitt's ability to function efficiently in Arctic conditions gives it a significant advantage. Do you agree that this engineering marvel has boosted Russia's strategic presence in the Arctic? 
especially as a growing geopolitical power center? Tell us in the comments. Thank you for watching and please do like, share and hit the bell icon. See you in the next video.